Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for the dailysheeple.com and this is your new shot. So, apparently Americans are officially freaking out according to bloomberg.com. Almost two-thirds, they say. This is the lowest point in U.S. history and it's keeping them up at night. It says for those lying awake, <laughs> and there's a lot of us lying awake at night. It says for those lying awake, at night, worried about health care, the economy, and the overall feeling of divide between you and your neighbors, there is at least one source of comfort. Your neighbors may be lying awake, too. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm being tormented, but I'm so glad that my neighbors are being tormented along with me. It's a great attitude to have, isn't it? Ah, almost two-thirds of Americans, or 63%, report being stressed about the future of the nation, according to the American Psychological Association's 11th Stress in America survey conducted in August and released on Wednesday. This worry about the fate of the union tops long-standing stressors as money and work and also cuts across political lines. However, a significantly larger proportion of Democrats report feeling stressed than independents and Republicans. The current social divisiveness in America was reported by 59% of those surveys as a cause of their own malaise. When the APA surveyed Americans a year ago, 52% said they were stressed about the presidential campaign since then anxieties have only grown. A majority of the of more than 3,400 Americans polled, 59%, said they consider this to be the lowest point in our nation's history that they can remember. That sentiment spanned generations, including those that lived through World War II, the Vietnam War, and the terrorist attacks of September 11th. Some 30% of people polled cited terrorism as the source of concern, a number they say uh, is likely to rise given the alleged terror attacks in New York City on Tuesday. And so I was reading an article in the, in the Wall Street Journal, and this is, this is how the whole fake news movement's coming about. This is how it all started, okay? People are getting pissed. People are getting pissed about the way this country has been hijacked because of the lovey-dovey nature between our non-representing representatives and big corporations. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're, Republican or you're Democrat or you're independent or you're any political affiliation, it doesn't matter. We're all being affected. It wouldn't matter if it's Donald Trump in the White House or Bernie Sanders in the White House or Hillary Clinton in the White House or Donald Duck in the White House. People would be absolutely, undeniably stressed out because. It's the nature of our society. It runs so counter to who we are as human beings. A lot of people say, oh, you know, the American society, yeah, we're free and everything else. No, we're not. Everybody needs to get that free and democracy out of their head. First of all, we're not a democracy. We're a constitutional republic. We have representatives that go to Washington that vote on our behalf. That's not a democracy. A democracy is one vote for every person. If that was the case, if we were a true democracy, every bill that comes to the House floor would be voted on by every American in the country. We are a constitutional republic. We need to get that through, teach our children. We are not a democracy. Second, we are not represented. We are what they term governed. Okay, we are governed. Now, what does that mean? That means that they think those in power, those non-representing representatives who come to you every two, four, or six years for your vote, just spew you a line of garbage to tell you, hey, you know, I'm here for you. I represent you. No, they don't. They represent themselves. They represent their, their, the special interests that put them in office that get them reelected because uh, they're just like you. They want longevity. They want security for their family. They want to be able to do comfortable things. They want to be able to do, um, and send their kids to college. They want their kids to be successful. And in order to do that, they want to keep the jobs that they have. They're cushy little Washington jobs. So what do they do? They get in bed with corporate interests. They get in bed with the control freaks so that they ensure their longevity. They're henchmen. They do their job. They ensure that they stay in office for 50, 60 years like your Strom Thurmond's. Uh, you know, like uh, your birds, all of these people that, that 
stayed in office for a long time, Tip O'Neill. We can go on and on and on about all these people that have made a career out of being politicians. Term limits certainly would be beneficial. However, you know, I think that would just be a rolling, uh, you know, like a turnstile, if you will, of people that big corporations and the control freaks just decide to pop in there to fund. It's really all about the money. And people are freaked out. People are freaked out that the United States has created this terrorist element through their empire building, through the clandestine services, arming of uh, what they term as extremists. The only reason why they're extremists is because we went in and tried to tell them how to live their lives and then go ahead and rob their natural resources. I'm sure if we had China come over here and actively start saying, this is what you have to eat. This is what you have to do. You can't do this. You can't do this. And by the way, we're going to go and take all your natural resources and ship them out somewhere else to the benefit of other people, not to your own. That's why Gaddafi was killed. People know Gaddafi wasn't this um, warmonger control freak that he was made out to be. His green book was pretty specific as far as his philosophies were concerned. And I'm not saying the guy was a saint. No, he wasn't a saint, but his quality of life in Libya was a hell of a lot better when he was there than when he's not. Saddam Hussein, the same thing. At least the region was was stable with Saddam. Look at it now. Look at what happened now due to our intervention, right? Because of our intervention into other countries, we're in 172 countries out of 193 UN member states. We have... More social problems at home, but we can't tackle them because all the resources are going to our empire. And people are rightfully pissed. Here we are, we pay all these taxes. For what? What are we paying taxes for? What are we getting for it? You know? And the irresponsibility of our non-representing representatives to follow through on commitments that they've made. Eventually, folks, I mean, how many times do you get sold a bill of goods before finally you just don't participate? And that's what we're seeing. That's why voter registration, that's why voter rates are at an all-time low. That's why people don't go to the polls anymore. And if they do, you know, oh, yeah, we've had a great showing today with 50% showing up. That's horrible. That's horrible. Half the people have given up. Sometimes you see 20%. 80% of the people don't give a shit about the elections because they know it makes no difference. I don't vote. Why don't I vote? Because I believe that when you put your vote, when you vote for a person, that that's your guy and you are partly responsible for putting that person there, guy or gal. Doesn't matter. And if that guy or gal votes for an illegal war, You put that person there, whether it be one three hundred millionth of a percent, it doesn't matter. You are complicit in that act if you don't say, what the hell are you doing and hold that non-representing representative to account? We just don't do that. Why? Because, oh, that's in D.C., that's over in Mordor on the Potomac. No, we don't need to worry about that. Oh, all that stuff that happens overseas. Blowback's starting to hit us here at home. You know, we thought we see all this stuff going on in Europe. It's going to start happening here, folks. That's the plan. Out of chaos order, their main saying. They can control people a lot better if people are constantly in fear. And of course, You know, I highlight these things not to make you live in fear because there's no reason to fear this stuff, but to get you pissed and to get you out there and to get you active. It's no longer time to sit on the sidelines. It's time to fight. It's time to fight the control freaks. It's time to fight the unconstitutionality because they are not keeping you safe as they say they are. They are fomenting a crisis or crises. And it's gotten so bad, and the control freaks have mucked this up so bad, two-thirds of people can't sleep at night or they lose sleep because of what's going on here in this country and what's going on here in the world. Folks, I don't know what it's going to take. 
to change things. And even when you do, oftentimes it just leads to more turmoil. You know, you may have a detent in um, cronyism for a little while, as we see, we saw with the breaking of the money trusts in the early 20th century, you know, the fight against the monopolies. All it did was just kind of put them off to the sidelines for a little while, but they were plotting and planning, scheming and scamming for their next way to gain power, and they certainly did. They didn't waste any time, and look at where we are now. With the turn of the century, Clinton goes out the door and takes Glass Steagall with him, and now you have crony capitalism on Wall Street. Wall Street causes a crash in 2008. We don't do anything to fix the problem. Now we are facing ever more dire consequences from an, another crash, that can be at any time. We have so many things politically, economically, uh, you know, from a natural disaster standpoint. Look at all of the earthquakes. Look at all the earth changes that are underway. Folks, this is the most chaotic time on this planet. No doubt people are losing sleep. So as humanity, I ask you to please get up, stand up, and fight for what's right. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below, take a volume, and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Hashtag wake the flock up. Have a great day.